Are there any particular use cases or things that you think, man, a developer is going to build that and it's going to absolutely take off. This is going to be a really exciting first few use cases. I know you guys have been thinking about, you know, <laughs> what developers might build. What are some of your favorite ideas so far for aspiring developers, anyone listening to this conversation uh, to build using Hole Punch? <clears throat> wow, there's so many, but like, uh, I mean, we're very excited about just all kinds of apps, but especially apps that take advantage of the fact that you can do, you can move a lot of data on P2P networks. So like even simple things like a peer-to-peer -peer VPN, like why is that not a thing that just exists where everybody can act as endpoints and you can just sell traffic if you wanted to that way, or you can do it for free if, if that's what you're into. But like simple ways like that, where instead of being logged into these online providers that we don't know what to do with our data, uh, but then we can use like a, an open network of it. Like that's super exciting to me. Also things like, you know, if you look at things like search, right? Um, search might be one of the most unethical things online because it's just these big, big companies in, ingesting all our data into selling us products. But the idea of search is really good, right? It's like finding things is very nice. Like uh, that's why we all use it anyway. If you take that stuff and you make that peer to peer and like you do the indexing locally, then all of a sudden the unlocks you get from that are insane. Like, you know, <clears throat> that's like, you can make killer, killer products that all of a sudden doesn't have to mine the, the, the data of the world, right? but you can also still make things where you just can, can sell data to ingest and because you have the payments and stuff like, so you, instead of having one big mega monopoly of search engines, we can have tons of them in the P2P ecosystem, all solving problems and we can move the indexes uh, locally, which means that we don't have these like big, uh, you know, sets of, of data that everybody can uh, mines and stuff. That's super exciting for me. Like, so just like the explosion of, of monopolies into all these kinds of apps. On, on my side, I would suggest that uh, I, I agree that uh, the search engine is one of the coolest ones because, you know, knowledge should be, you know, shouldn't, be used against yourself and one of the main reasons of having you know search engines is like uh, access to knowledge if you don't have a fair democratic access to knowledge then you know it's um, it's it's kind of uh, uh, it, it can create a really uh, this dystopian future in a, in a way right so because the way the the the, um, the searches the, the results are sorted is quite impactful on what people think right so could be interesting to to change that, but um, if I have to say another one, for example, it's mapping to me, right? I I mm -hmm. do quite quite a lot of work in the past, uh, also at the university in mapping, um, and you know when when you go on Google Maps, but also if you use something like OpenStreetMap, you have you your your uh, computer like you have like a nice UI that will fetch tiles, right? They are like these small you know, you know square boxes of, of the world, right? So. It's like a puzzle uh, it composed, right? So um, imagine that that is, first of all, one of the easy wins of, of Hole Punch, right? You can store all, all those tiles on, um, on a peer-to-peer -peer network, right? So suddenly you can download them uh, from, from local peers, right? You are like in, in Italy, you don't want to do download tiles from a, from a Japanese uh, peer, right? You'll, you'll download them locally, but also even more so, right? One, one of the interesting ways on how... Um, <clears throat> Uh, big tech giants are monetizing mapping is, you know, now on the maps, you, you search, of course, for restaurants, right? Or for, for, for schools or for this and that, right? For, for grocery stores. And, you know, that is ton data indexed. Uh, when you are going there, right? You are checking in or you are nearby that, right? So there is, that is information by itself. When you are driving your car, that is um, information that Google is using to understand if there is traffic and so on and so forth. Right. So I think then if uh, I would trust more like uh, someone living in a small town in, in, you know, imagine someone living in a small town in Italy to provide uh, contextful uh, and precise information about uh, about the, the, you know, the different facilities on the territory um, and putting them on a peer to peer network rather than relying entirely on the sorting on the or the priority that, uh, you know, maybe Google Maps is giving me when when I'm going around. So I think that mapping with the amount of data that there is available and is one probably, I feel like eventually search will be even more localized onto maps, right? So we are not seeing that yeah. yet, but maps are insanely powerful if you, if you want to actually show information, right? Mm -hmm. The ton of information in this world is localized in specific 
location and coordinates. So you can actually build the best map and social map that you can ever do. And you can make that, you know, uh, contribution based and based on location and data can be uh, actually stored by the peers. And like I mentioned, if, if you combine those things also, right, it's kind of like you yeah. go on the peer to peer search engine, you find the local provider that is like has high ranks based on the peers in the area saying, this is the person that makes the best list of restaurants. That's like how we do it in real life. You would love to talk to a local saying yeah. to go over here, right? You pay them yeah. for them, like you, but you pay a reasonable amount. It's not like a monthly subscription based on like what they want. It's there just between you and them. You get them, you sync the local map, boom. Like, you know, it's kind of like, that's, that's what I love about peer to peers, all complementary. Instead of building silos and then and then every silo having to do everything, we just build small, 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 small things, and they all work together. And then all of a sudden, we're like, "Whoa, what happened?" Like, <laughs> like it's just like the, the insanity of it. And you can make that payment on Lightning or on Tether, and then yeah. you aggregate all these little tiny payments, and all of a sudden you have this big network of like global payments, slinging yeah. money and information back and forth. 